So hey guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about SRM University. I'm going to talk about everything about this college, the admission procedure, the cutoff, the placements, fees, scholarships, hostel life and everything about this college so if you really want to know about this college the ground reality of this college just stick till the end of this video and now without any further ado let's get started So let's start with overview of this college. So this college covers a campus of 250 acres and really the campus is very very good. I went there, I know that this campus, the college campus is really very good. The college life is going to be very good there. Okay, and this college established in 1985. The NIF ranking in last year is 41 among engineering. This is, comes under 50, that is a good thing. But one thing, just note that NIF rank doesn't describe placements and things of college but yeah it describes the campus the laboratory features and the research and everything of this college so by having this type of rank and NAC grade A++ it really shows that yeah this college is very good in research field in campus life in just this type of thing this college is very good I'll just show you every ground reality every truth of this college till the end okay so don't leave this video so let's see what are the courses they offer in this college in engineering so they offer civil engineering, mechanical engineering, automobile engineering, aerospace engineering, mechatronics, electronics and communication, e computer science, IT, software engineering. So yeah, there are a lot of course. You can come to this page. I'll give the link of every site I'm opening in description. So you must check the description box. There will, that will be so helpful for you. Okay. Now let's move to the eligibility criteria of this college. The first thing is your age. This is have to be 16 years, 6 months on the 31st July of the calendar in which your 12th board happen okay then in the qualifying exam in which you have to have minimum 50% aggregate in PCM okay and uh, for uh, biotech engineering and that students uh, you have to get in PCB okay so this is it, how it will change and uh, there is also direct admission for uh, state toppers and all for uh, state toppers and uh, top 10,000 rankers and uh, actually everyone can get admission in this college but yeah if your rank or your marks is low you have to give some donations less like two lakh three lakh okay so yeah this is this changes for every branch for computer science it is more uh, for another branches it is little bit low so donations are taking in this college admission is having in this college okay so if you want to take that admission you can take by giving the donations okay so now let's see what are the admission criteria you can see it is clearly written that few, for few programs the admission is done directly actually it's not for you it's for every program okay so also if you have didn't give SRM JE which is the entrance exam of this college this university you can also be qualified you can see it is written any candidate qualified in IIT JE means SAT is also an examination that will be admitted directly even if the candidate doesn't take SRM JEE okay so if you have didn't give SRM JE you can come directly also with on the basis of mains marks boards marks or SAT marks okay so these three are the other criteria now let's see what are the SRM JE dates so actually tomorrow is the last date okay tomorrow at 11 p.m. night 18th August 9 p.m. okay that is the last time to fill up the phase 3 form and the examination is going to be in uh, uh, 25th of August it will be going to be in your home, in your laptop, in proctored mode, your camera will be on and all everything. So yeah, if you want to give exam, you can give exam. I will give it this, uh, this is the application form which you have to fill, 1100 is its cost. I will give the link in description of this page. You can fill it if you are seeing this video before 19th of August, okay. So now let's move on to the cutoff of SRM JE of this college. If you have given SRM JE, you must see this cutoff. I have made it with the <laughs> hard work of one, two, three day. I don't know that it took so much time to collect data for every campus. Okay. So if you want, you can see this. This is the approx value and I am sure that this is really, really nice. I verified it with few consultants. So yeah, they told it. Yeah, it is right. So you can see it I'm going to tell you about the KTR campus which is in the Chennai and there are every other campus uh, is mentioned here so you can see that but I'm going to tell you about KTR campus okay SRM KTR so let's see uh, for computer science which is the main branch the cutoff is a uh, 9500 to 10,000 
so this is the closing cutoff for last round so yeah you can get computer science if your rank is 9500 to 10000 okay for EC it is a very very far it is 24000 to 25000 for IT it is 18000 to 20000 for software engineering it is 30000 to 35000 and I can say one thing software engineering not bad branch in this college this is a good branch for AAA it's 34000 to 38000 for mechanical engineering it is 26000 to 30000 for civil engineering it is 60000 to 65000 i don't recommend you to go in civil engineering in this college and for aerospace it is 45000 to 52000 and for biotechnology the rank is going from 40000 to 45000 so yeah you can see these cutoffs are going to be very very helpful in the time of seat allocation in the time of counseling so you must see this and for all other campus i have given every other campus a cut off and the boxes which are left blank it means that these courses are not available in this campus okay so yeah you can refer to this page for your cut off so now let's move on to the placement of this college the most asked thing the most uh, uh, what i say uh, controversial thing the placement is good of this college the placement is bad of this college what is the real truth okay i am going to tell you the companies are very very much coming here 8800 companies came last year in the pandemic also 800 companies come and hired these students okay the major companies like microsoft google amazon they also came here okay the percentage placement this is 90 percent in the seat intake of almost 5000 i can say almost 5000 students came here every year in ug and 90 uh, percent are get placed so this is a good thing really this is a good thing average salary is 4.5 lakh per annum this is also decent thing but uh, one thing i am going to tell you <laughs> after few minutes that will get you a little bit hesitation that you can go for this college for this salary or not because the fees is high i will show you okay and at last the highest salary of this call is gone is 41.63 LPA by Microsoft so this is a good thing so now let's see the tuition fee of this university in this page every campus is covered so if you want you can come to this page the link is in the description okay I'm going to talk about SRM KTR only the uh, approx fees for every branch here is 2.5 lakh through SRM JE if you come from any other method if you come from any other mode of admission it may increase it may decrease it's upon you okay so the uh, normal fees is around 2.5 lakh okay in four years the tuition fee is going to be 3 lakh and additionals are extra and if i talk about the hostel so for first year cost you from 92,500 to 2 lakh 28,000 so it's upon you what you want but i just uh, suggest you to go for ac with attached three steering that is a good thing from 2.18 Lack. but yeah it is expensive as i have told that this college is very expensive they are taking so much price for this the match fee is 58,000 or self fee is 1.6 lakh per year it's okay it's a big college man big college big fees so yeah this is all about the fees of this college some students are also going to talk about the scholarships that what are the scholarships so the scholarships are given on the basis of SRMG ranks and JMS score and boards exam also so in SMJ, if you claim a 1 to 100, top 100 rank, get 100% tuition waiver and hostel fee waiver. It means you don't have to give any fees to this college. You have to give 0 rupees. You just have to go and fill up the form. Okay. If you came from 100 to 500, you have to just give tuition fee. Your hostel fees is going to be waived. Okay. And if you came from CVSE, if your percentage is more than 98 in PCM, and also you will get 100% fees for tuition, mess and hostel, everything. Okay. And uh, if you get more than 95% to 98%, then you will get only tuition fee waiver. You have to pay for mess, hostel. Okay. And at last, if you are a child of any defense personnel, you will get 25% tuition fee waiver in every case. Okay. These are all the scholarships that are given to you in this college. So and also one thing I would like to tell you all that there are two fests organized in this college. One is Milan, one is Tarana. Milan is a cultural fest and Tarana is a competitional fest that is a competition between the students of uh, the college. Okay, and Milan is cultural fest from they just like college invite a big, big um, actors and uh, influencers and all for um, just having fun. Okay, so yeah, these two are the big fest of this college. 
and this is the scholarship hostel and i have shown you everything about this college if you have any more doubt about this college just come to the comment and just drop your doubt i will surely reply you under two three hours and rectify your doubt okay and yeah with all that i would like to conclude this video that yeah this college is good but not that good i can say this is good college if they took uh, less fee but yeah they are taking very much fees and if you are getting a scholarship you must go to this college the college is good it is giving you opportunities giving to the companies you have to work hard because student intake is very high so yeah you have to compete you have to be in the top to, to get a good package otherwise you will get an average package of 4 lakh as you can as you have seen so yeah this is all about you if you have to come to this college you have to work hard if otherwise you will get very bad return of investment you will get if you didn't work hard in this college so yeah you have to hustle okay so this is all about this college this college is good in my sense but yeah fees is high okay so yeah with that let's end this video if you have any doubt just comment down and if you have any help from me just come to my instagram i'll surely reply you i'll surely try to help you out okay and yeah if you are new to this channel go and subscribe it will give me so much motivation and yeah like this video if you got any help from this video okay with that now let's end this video bye bye